Hello Internet, this is the High School Scientist and in this video we are going to learn about Unification and Reductionism, what they are and why they are so important. So let's start with Unification. Unification is nothing but an approach to explain diverse physical phenomena with just a few concepts and laws. Sometimes even astronomically huge concepts are explained with just a single law. For example, Newton's law for gravity, which explains every movement or motion influenced by gravity. And because of this law, it's possible for you to walk, the moon doesn't fly away, and your cat always falls into the toilet seat. So every macroscopic particle or object has its own gravitational field. And heavier the object, greater its gravitational field. So we have unified such a diverse astronomical concept with just a single law that explains every motion influenced by gravity. And this is what we call unification. But on the other hand, there is reductionism. Now this comes in effect only when we try to explain microscopic behavior. And why is that you might ask? Well, Einstein would say that Newton's law do not work at such low scales. Keep in mind that this is only the case for something which is below the atomic level. Or in simple words, something smaller than an atom. So for example, to explain what the universe is made up of, we simply have to explain what an atom is made up of. And to explain that, we have to go subatomic. So we can say that explaining the fundamental stuff will give us an explanation for the more complex stuff. And this is the concept of reductionism. Nowadays, reductionism has gained more attraction as there is almost nothing left to unify and tons and tons of stuff to be reducted. The string theory, which also has a nickname the theory for everything, is the most advanced form of reductionism as it deals with the most fundamental particles. And no, I'm not talking about protons, neutrons and electrons. There are particles which are super tiny. In fact, they are so tiny that the rules of classical physics and space-time cease to be valid. And explaining such invalid entities would give us a valid explanation for the universe itself. So, attempting to explain diverse physical phenomena with a few concepts and laws is unification and an attempt to explain a macroscopic system in terms of its microscopic constituents is reductionism. By putting both of these together, we can explain everything happening around us. But we still exactly don't know why people fall in love. So I guess that's it for this video. This is The High School Scientist signing off.